What's up guys? My name is Redbeard. I have a coffee and I am back playing another episode of Alan Wake. Uh, I really like this game. Uh, I know it might not be that interesting on this channel for you guys, but uh, I really enjoy it. It's really, it's not too scary. It's not like Outlast where it's super intense and I have to focus on stuff like super hard. It's just kind of a nice game to just sit down and record. So I'm doing that. Uh, so far on the channel, we've had like a lot of really long Let's Plays of stuff of these games. And it's unfortunate that a lot of them are really long, but when we get to do some uh, Friday the 13th gameplay stuff, which I'm hoping to do like within the next couple days here, uh, then we'll have some shorter episodes. But anyway, I guess we'll continue playing this game because it's fun as hell, actually. And figure out my next move. And I'm not quite sure where the story's going. Oh. Better go quick. I'm just gonna triple check the recording too. My apologies. Don't wanna record for an hour and then not have it record. <clears throat> that would not make me a happy person. So we have two flares. Pistol. 30 shots. One dream. One man. One flashlight. And I guess... Oh, here we are. Here's the secret thingy I was looking for. What is this? Oh, what the fuck? Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit! I thought it was like a manuscript, I'm like, ooh, what's this thing? Fucking lied to me. Another one? Are we shooting me right now? We can't disarm these? There's so many. Like, look at them all. I'm like just scared to walk anywhere. Oh, we gotta do this. Hell yeah. Manuscript page. Sarah didn't care about the legal threats Wake's agent had made. She let Wake go without argument, because there was something about him she couldn't quite put her finger on, something that reminded her of her father. She didn't think Wake would hurt his wife. Then she thought about the way he waded into Hartman, that hair trigger rage flaring up without warning. Hey, the fucker deserved it, man. But then again, like, we are kind of a dick. Mr. Allen has a tendency to punch people with no goddamn good reason. And then we end up in situations fucking like this. Oh man. Okay, hello. Get back. Back! Whoa, whoa, buddy. I see you. Don't think I don't. Darkness is coming in. Uh oh. Oh, that's a lot.
Boom. Got him. Oh man. <coughs> I thought we were gonna get murderized. I do not like the way this fog thing is rolling in. Let us see. Oh okay. Hello. You're a big X man. Reload that shit, man. I, I really think headshots don't even matter. Which is too bad. Start this bitch up. Batteries. Revolver ammo. Can I see something in here? Some coffee. Yeah, drink my coffee. Think of it, actually. Mmm. Alright. So. Got ourselves another main page. And our shotgun! Oh, it's a hunting rifle. Which is our shotgun, maybe? I don't care. It's a big gun. The night had been one desperate situation after another. I was exhausted, and my body felt as though it had been chewed up and spat out. The flashlight was heavy in my hand, and each pull of the trigger sent a painful shock up my arm. But I was finally out of the woods, and things were looking up. That's when I heard the chainsaw. Oh, lovely. I always wanted to get chainsawed. Chainsaw Man just sounds like a good goddamn time. Plane crash? Are you serious? I had heard the plane fall. It made no sense. It was clear that it had just fallen here, but it was very old and obviously hadn't flown in decades. What? Looking at it sent a shiver down the street. I hear breathing. I don't like it. Supposed to do that? Maybe, huh? Hey, we got some supplies. What do we got here? Some flares. Get that shit. Oh man, all my hopes of jumping up on that badass was shattered in that moment. Well, that was fun, but peace out guys. I have a feeling a big fight's coming up. Probably down here. Hopefully it's not Chainsaw Man. This guy's only taking two shots now for some reason. Well, some of them. Hello, hello. Goodbye, cinematic dodge. Boom.
Too cool for school, man. Okay. I see you, gentlemen. I see you. You've been noticed, holy crow. Get wrecked, noobs. Get the wrecked, noobs! Start this bitch. There we go. Hunting rifle ammo. Cool. The fog's twisting everything up. Don't look good. I don't like it. Got a coffee break though. Coffee man. Coffee man. When you go into the woods, swell. Hi, gentlemen. Ow. Fuck! Ow! Shot in the dead, you good sir. Oh, I thought that was a coffee. Well, this looks like a place where nothing could go wrong. So as us following through the world a little bit, don't worry about it. This will climb up. Elway. Okay. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Got some ninja Allen parkour here. We have to fight a chainsaw guy at close quarters. That might not be good. Just some speculation, you know. This liquid darkness could fuck off too, that would be nice. Whoa? Whoa! Oh, it does hurt us. Jesus. That's like the manuscript. The logging site was a mess. The modular office had been pushed off the cliff. Deputy Thornton climbed up from the wreckage, excited, breathing hard from the exertion. Nobody there. It's weird. Don't you think that's weird? Bored, Mulligan let out a mighty snort. Hell, it's always weird, Thornton. Just a question of sorting out what kind of weird it is this time around. Not a good weird, considering there's a chainsaw guy somewhere. All right, I can tell you that much. I don't want to be chainsawed. Cause that's no fun for anyone. Boom! Spartan kick that shit. I swear to God. Okay, that would have been a long drop. When Barry saw the darkness attack the visitor center, it made him a believer. The men Al said he'd shot, they hadn't been just locals on crank. Somehow the world had changed, like the channel had been switched without warning. You think you're watching a sitcom, and you're really watching a horror show. When the birds started attacking the cabin, Barry wasn't surprised, just terrified. Oh, well, that's always good, just to be terrified and not surprised. I'd always rather be surprised than terrified, I think, but... 
That's just me. Up and up we go. Where we stop? Chainsaw Man probably knows. Okay then. That's nice. Creaking is definitely not creepy. This looks like a bad place. The darkness wears her face. Yep, there's an axe man. Okay, okay. I see you, I see you. Whoa! I see you, sir, I see you, I see you. Whoa! Okay. I, I don't want to play Minecraft, sorry. No, thank you. No Minecraft picks it, picks access for me. Shank ya sha. I'm just gonna roll with a bad pronunciation. Don't worry about it. Hey, hunting rifle ammo. Hell yeah. Good. Yep. Looks well. You can, you can jump up. Thank you. Do a little bit of parkour. Just some bats. Nothing to worry about. Oh. Scared the bejesus out of me. Okay, I think it's hunting rifle time. Whoa, don't run at me. I don't appreciate that. Oh, he ran right through it. Shit. Fuck, we missed. These bullets are expensive, dude. Oh. Well, that was a close one. Yep. Pretty sure shooting them with the darkness on them still is pretty ineffective. So we're just gonna not. Well, oh, we're full of full of shit. We could probably start using it big time. What was that? Occupation. Oh! Smoking is definitely hazardous. Uh, drop that shit. Uh, chainsaw guy, don't give a fuck. I see you, man. Okay, let's just lower that health. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Whoa, no, 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 no. Fuck you. Fuck you, and uh, fuck you. 
dickhead. Okay, that was exciting. That was a little too exciting if you ask me. Campgrounds. I wonder if there's some like dank loot back here. Don't look like it. We're almost there. We made it. Uh, I don't think Barry's gonna live very long. Just a guess. Oh great, we gotta wander into trailer park territory here. That's probably actually a campground, so... I still had to reach Barry at the cabin, but at least I was out of the woods. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Shoot up some revolver ammo here, I guess. Uh uh. Don't even think about it. I'm watching you. I'd have to get the car from the locked garage. It would get me back to Barry faster. And the headlights were a welcome bonus. Okay. On the mission for some keys. Well, let's go into the definitely not creepy and dark bathrooms. Perfect. Keys. A story is not a machine that does what you tell it. A story oh. is not a Oh god! Change one thing and you set off a chain reaction of events that spreads through the whole thing. The characters have to be true to themselves. Well, I'm sorry to interrupt your pooping, good sir. Gotta go into the women's too. There might be like some ammo in there. It's not a perf thing, trust me. The FBI agent's command froze me in place. I considered surrender. It was all falling apart anyway. I could give in, let someone else deal with it. But it felt all wrong. Cold instinct, his posture, the way he held the gun. He was no friend. Shots ringing in my ears, I leaped for the hole in the fence and stumbled into the darkness beyond. Well, great. Bodes well for the future. Where are the goddamn toilets? That seems very suspicious. Like, this is a bathroom, but there's no place to, like, there's no sinks either. It's like they were forgotten to be written into the story, maybe? Maybe they forgot to put it into the actual game, who knows? That's really odd. Guess we're playing GTA now. Fuck you, good sir. Fuck you! Uh oh. That's no good. Hello. Bitches. Get wrecked. Get wrecked, noobs! My GTA skills are going back. Ow! Okay, 
Okay, let's just go get Barry. Car's on fire. That's a good sign. Um, don't know where I'm going, so that's crazy. Well, I'm not dealing with all that shit back there. Guess we should get out. Get up the road! Um. Yes, this is where we stop. Sorry, truck. The Where are you going? probably the best weapon I could imagine against the dark things I was facing. No way. Fuck, 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 fuck! Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Goddamn axe people. Whoa, okay. You know what? Get a load of that. God damn it. I'll take you all on, man. You gotta go save Barry anyway. It was the kidnapper. You son of a bitch! Where's my wife? Enough horseplay, wake! You deliver the manuscript, and you can have your woman back. Simple as that. I don't... Listen. Listen. I'm gonna need time to finish it. I still need to write the ending. I need a week. It's not done. I need a week. Two days. The old Bright Falls coal mine is nearby. You can find it easy, city boy. The main building, there at noon. You bring the manuscript, you'll get your wife. If not, well, uh, get me. Yes, yes, I, I get you. Fucking kidnappers, man. Um, I think Barry might be having a bad day. Barry had talked about birds over the phone. Coming, Barry. Don't you worry, man. Come to save your ass. Super friendly by the looks of it. Okay. Let's shoot some flares into them then. Oh, 
Good rest, birds. Will you let me in, Barry? Where? How are we going to defeat them? There's so many. Does nothing. Okay, we're like killing as many as we can here. how we're supposed to fight them? I hope so. Can open the door now. They're gone. Oh, yeah. Barry? Barry Chan? Hey, Al. I'm... I'm sorry for thinking you were having a psychotic episode, man. Yeah? You sorry now? I sent Barry to the town to ask around about a man fitting the kidnapper's description. He'd go through the archives of the local paper. Perhaps he could learn something. Anything about the island and the cabin that had disappeared. The man wanted a manuscript. I had to try to write him one to get Alice back. For me, the supernatural had always been nothing but a metaphor for the human psyche, a tool to use in writing fiction. Now, it was happening for real, and I couldn't put a single word on paper. Barry Wheeler speaking. This is Rose. Rose? I found Mr. Wake's pages. Oh, you sweet, brilliant girl. Could you and Mr. Wake come get them? We'll be there in less than an hour. See you soon. That doesn't sound like Have a her. Have great day. Hope you come back soon. Welcome, Welcome to, to the old dear diner. Good girl. That's not good. Hey, we did out. Who did out? We finished part two. Sweet deal, man. Well, thank you everybody for watching this episode of uh, Alan Wake. Uh, if you enjoyed, don't forget to hit that like button. And uh, anyway, thanks so much guys. I hope you have a wonderful day.